Alright, hello everyone and welcome to Dishonored 2. It's episode 6 of the Pacifist playthrough. Well, clean hands. That's the, uh, the achievement technically. Um, but in the last episode we were... We were just basically... We were getting the antidote for the Doctor and we just got it. And we were clearing out some of the other areas. And now we're just going to go and probably inject the Doctor. I imagine we have to sneak up on her. And then, like, inject her from behind. I'm not sure exactly how it's going to work. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll see how we can do it. Um, I can imagine this is going to be something where we're going to need a few tries. But, you know, we'll see how it goes. Dealing with the uh, the blood flies and the game was also quite interesting, but anyway, let's press on. So I left it here. Uh, we've basically knocked out all the guards, or well, at least above onto this floor. Uh, downstairs, we I think we're on the second floor. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. we we probably knocked out the ground, uh, but the floor below is like with um, we haven't knocked out all of them yet, so. If I remember correctly, how did we get to this floor? Is it above here? I think it was. Yeah, this looks like the right direction. Let's have a look at our objective, actually. So, uh... Yes, we don't want to do a lethal. We've got a limited crown killer. Create the counter serum. Which we've done. If I remember correctly, we have. Uh, we've, we injected it with some of the blood. If I remember correctly. Then why have we got a marker to... Oh, oh, okay. This makes sense now. Because we have to... Um, probably go to the lab to get this done. This area is all clear, we knocked out the guards. It would be very awkward if we tried to go and attack her without actually creating the serum. So we do then turn the burner on. Hopefully this is enough. For her sake, I hope this works. I imagine it's pretty hard to progress on uh, on doing this part because you have to travel between so many areas without um, to do this without the. Um, about knocking out some guards, I'd be pretty impressed if someone did it. Even though we're taking a non-lethal approach, it doesn't mean uh, that we are going to not going to uh, gonna take it down. I'm just wondering how we're going to get up to it. I think we have to just use the syringe. Uh, so I'm guessing 
we just have to, uh, we could sleep. I don't know if we can sleep dart her. Let's just save. Right. I don't know how easily she uh, she uh, gets sleep darted, so we're basically just waiting for her to do stuff. When I catch you, I'm going to take my time. My guess is she's not actually the crown killer. He's dead, right? Tova finds my body. I know I'm dying, haunted by failure. I couldn't save Dr. Hypatia from myself. If someone finds this note, please don't blame her. She has no idea what her other self is doing. She doesn't know the monster she has to come. If only I'd been braver, maybe I could have cured her. If it is not too late, please, I beg you, prepare the antidote and save her. The instructions are on my personal safe. The code is 551. Okay, that makes sense. Nice. No, no, no. Not back to sleep. I won't go. I won't give it back. The color's changing already, I think. So at this point, I'm pretty sure we can still kill her, but we're not going to. Doctor Hypatia. Yes. Uh, I'm sorry. Something's not right with me. Maybe I contracted something working with infectious samples. No, someone was poisoning you, but you should be better now. I found some alchemical notes and made a counter serum. Poisoning me? Don't worry. I'm going to take care of it. If you need a place to lay low for a few days, come find us. I'm staying with an ally on a boat called the Dreadful Whale. So we just return now? Yeah. Basically just leave. Uh, now there was a key. Like a some Hamilton's key or something like that. Uh, that we could have got. But I don't think we can... Uh, get to that anymore, so. Because the uh, key, I'm pretty sure, was like downstairs here and they already killed Hamilton before we could do anything to save him. Yeah, his body's like in there. Yeah, it doesn't let us loot him. Uh, so. Okay. Let's basically just get out of here. Uh, we could try... S I'm just trying to think what else we've got left. Because I don't think we can get that key anymore. Unless... Unless we have the key. And I had no idea. Let's try this door. Quite a few flaws on this mansion, actually. 
Hamilton's key needed. Let's go for a save. Right. Um, so, in terms of stuff left, there's one down here. There's two up there, and there's one on that table. So, let's go to this one. If I remember correctly, we knocked out everything up until this point. Things we can't get to the basement though. So you can rewire that to uh, attack enemies, but we're not going to do that just in case, you know, something bad happens. Can't get to the basement, you see. I think we just go for it. She. I wonder if we can pick that rune. I just wonder if we can pick that rune off uh, using the using the pull. So we'll we'll try that. And see how it goes. Another thing I noticed with like the runes and stuff is um, a lot of them are n uh, like, like for example when Hamilton died, uh, we uh, we couldn't have saved him. I don't think, um, without not without reloading the save, which I don't really want to do. I think that's a bit unfair. Like, just play the game with the consequences for the most part, unless we like kill someone. Um, I think we can just pull, we can far reach and... Oh nice, we can. Wow, that is pretty cool. We still have quite a lot of points for, for runes and stuff. So we'll just go. I mean, there's like... I don't know how else we're going to get downstairs. So like, we pretty much got everything we can get here. There's like a couple of stuff left and I don't know how we're going to get them, so... Oh, right, we're going to have to go outside the other side. Until you're finished. Yeah, we are finished. Can we leave this place yet? I don't like it. Ready now? 
Yes. Yeah. Let's, Let's get go. Back to the ship. Mansion was pretty cool overall. We spent like probably like an hour and a half at least there though. No, but Hypatia was the crown killer. Uh, I don't believe you. The Duke tricked her into injecting herself with a flawed version of her serum. It changed her, but there was an antidote, so she's alive. If she remembers the murders, she'll have to deal with that. What about Sokolov? They gave him to a man named Kieran Jindosh. Do you know him? Everybody knows him. The grand inventor of Sir Konos. Then he's next. Let's hope Anton's all right. Yeah, didn't kill anyone. Okay. I mean, that's kind of... See, like, I instantly look at the stealth one, I'm like, holy shit. Oh, they detected a, uh, a body. Okay. Didn't even see the consequences of that. See, like, it, it gives you, like, a, um, a chart, and ideally you want to be in the top right corner, but that requires you to not incapacitate anyone and not trigger any alarms, which is pretty difficult. And we're playing on hard, so we basically have to knock out guards, because otherwise there's too much to worry about. I'm sure there's a way to do it if you get, like, Shadow Walk and you, you do all this kind of stuff, but we want to explore, we want to find, we want to check out most of the rooms, uh, so... Can't just uh, not do it, basically. In his day, Sokolov was Dunwall's genius. He transformed our city with his inventions. Electricity for the factories and carriages racing along above the streets. As I grew up, his buzzing and glowing devices kept me safe. His stories always made me giggle, and his outrageous conversation shocked aristocrats and overseers alike. Now, all these years later, Kieran Jindosh is Karnaka's genius. A mad inventor who has given the Duke sinister machines that move like people but aren't. Clockwork soldiers that fight and kill. Got to find out where Sokolov's being held and bring the old man back alive. Rescue one genius and cage the other before he creates an army of clockwork soldiers. Well, it doesn't look like we're having a crazy dream again. Um, oh, I actually didn't uh, read through this. Ah, so it adds to the travel log. Cool. Uh, we will read for those. Um, we check them through the diary. So we've got a note from uh, Megan Foster. Dr. Hypatia needed a place to sleep, so I killed the stuff out of the spare cabin. I was able to sell most of it. Here's what's left of the money. It's not a lot, I know. Whale oil is expensive under pure ration in the creek, but you know that. I can foster. I just want Anton back here, safe and sound. How did that old fool come to mean so much to me? Okay, uh, drain engine room another week, another week. Wasted hours on it, I couldn't get it stopped. Uh, I'll shut the water off, assuming I can crank the wheel. Something to deal with once Sokolov is safe. Check bridge tubing, done. Hoil all down, done. Bite onions, done. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna stop. You might want to talk to Hypatia before we head out. She's taken one of the rooms, just for a while, I think. Needed to be away from Ademeyer. Nerd of the Grand Guard. Trying to keep... Oh, you're here. Stay with me a moment. Dr. Hypatia, can you remember anything that might help me? I need to find Anton Sokolov. He could be the key to unraveling the Duke's plans. My memories are disjointed. 
The Duke is close to his grand inventor, Kirin Jindosh. But that man has the empathy of a mantis. He seems to both admire and despise Sokolov. We visited Aramis Stilton. I liked him. But something bad happened. Just snatches a memory. Sorry. You should rest easy for a while. Maybe some of that will help. I hope so. I'm not sure I even fully understand what you did for me, but I owe you for helping me at Adamire. Thank you. Oh. Cool. So these are her notes. On a boat with friends, I believe. I slept. Thankfully, without the usual nightmares, perhaps the sea air dulls me good. The captain, Megan Foss, had brought me some tea earlier. Such an interesting woman. She seemed to understand about my strange, disjointed memories and the feelings of dread that accompanied them. As soon as I am able, I must return to Adamir. So much of the last few months seems a blur. What was I accomplishing? What of my research into serums uh, for the Black Spittle? My work was so easily derailed, I can only conclude I was suffering from a completely exhausted breakdown, and I will need time to recover. But we had already told her that um, she'd been poisoned. This is a lot of Adamire solution. Nice. Okay, so I didn't play anything interesting. Megan must be up on deck. We could read through the logs, and then after that, well, I think we'll take a break before we go up to see Megan. Okay, New Year. We're starting at New Year. Maybe 1852 will be less boring than 1851. I can't wait for Wyman to get back to Dunwall. So Wyman, as we know, uh, is uh, Emily's lover, I think. Um, so we'll go to the abandoned mansion I discovered the other night at the edge of Rudshaw, maybe. And maybe I'll have time to turn it into a scary haunted house beforehand, using sheets and hiding an old audiograph upstairs. Wyman would love that. We'd get spooked and hold hands screaming and laughing. Uh, come on, Emily, you promised to be more serious and listen at court, and you're already planning your next escape. Let's start this diary again. Proposals for a new decree on whale oil rationing and distribution. Uh, doesn't made any notes there. Anniversary. It's that time of year again, the anniversary of my mother's death. There's no real time for reflection, though. It's all security protocols, menus, guest lists, and it's impossible to slip out at night. I feel like a caged bird. Now, they've already got me memorizing this year's speech. It's endless. Would it be so terrible if I just said what I remember about her? That wink she gave me, even if she was scolding me after I caught climbing the statue of my grandfather. The sound of her footsteps as she paced at night. The time we shared a cabin on a boat trip to uh, Driscoll. All the time she agreed to let Corvo teach me to fish, but then I had to pull a hook from my arm. Now that would be a speech. Okay, dishonored. My father is lost, turned to stone by delighter. These words don't even seem real. Witchcraft, something I never would believe possible. But now I have to believe in it, so I believe that it can be undone. Delia claims to be my aunt, the rightful heir. Truth or lies? All I know is that she used magic to take my throne, aided by that weasel Duke Bell. They must have been working for their plan for years, buying disloyalty with promises. Even Ramsay, captain of the city watch, planting in everyone's mind the idea that my father and I could be responsible for those monstrous killings, that one of us, or both of us, were the crown killer. I'm not in a trusting mood, but Megan Foster says she knows Anton Sokolov, our old royal physician, and she helped me escape the coup, so she's all I have right now. We're sailing for Sokolos. My Dunwall, my home, is no longer safe for me. But I never really was safe, I never really will be. The sooner I get that through my skull, the better. The Void. This time it wasn't a dream. I've read about the Void and the Outsider, imagined them. Now I've seen the wonders for myself. Strange doesn't begin to cover it. Uh, the Outsider has terrible eyes, black on black. He offered me something. I know these gifts come with a price, but how can I refuse? This power might give me the edge I need to defeat the liar and Duke of Bell. I worry about, I worry about paying their costs later. And what price will I pay for this other gift? My mother's blurred voice trapped in this strange contraption. It's both comforting and chilling to be able to talk to her again. And yet it's not entirely the person I knew anymore. 
this thing, the heart, it's there and not there. I have to focus in a new way to even see it. Uh, we arrived at the southernmost tip of the empire. Strange fragrances all around. Salt, fish, spice. I don't know how to blend in here. I don't even know where to eat or where to go. But this is where my father was born, so part of me belongs here too. And these are my people, or they were until my friend was stolen by Delia. I'm coming for you, Delia, with my new powers. All I need now is a plan. Investigating Ad Ademir Institute. Oh, so it adds stuff, probably. Uh, the boat, the best, this boat captain, Megan Foster, she helped me escape the coup. But she's giving me the side eye when she thinks I'm not looking. She's all I have got from them, though, soon. I hope Anton Sokolov will be joining us. My old teacher. Keenest intellect in the Empire. Filthy mouth. Gone and got himself abducted. Megan says she's been dragged toward Ademir Institute by the Crown Killer. Uh, oh, he, he, oh, Sokolov was last seen. Uh, being dragged. Which makes no sense to me, unless the killer is a patient there. Maybe he needs medicine or something, but how can a deranged patient be working for the Duke and Delia? Adam is chief alchemist right now. Um, Alexandra Hypatia. She's been running. Oh, so the. the, the it's not. The commas here are pretty weird. Um, she's been running this place for years. She's famous for curing the miners' diseases. If she knows anything, I'll make her talk. And now we're onto the mansion. The crown killer is no more. Next, Jindosh. I finally uncovered my enemies. How my enemies created the crown killer. What better way to erode confidence in me before the coup? If I had stopped to think about it for even for a few minutes, maybe I could have kept my people's trust. But that would have required patience. And my advisors always remind me that I have none of that particular trait. But to use uh, Hypatia's own serum against her, horrible. I'm happy I could find a cure. She's a brilliant alchemist. Now she can continue her research to help the people of Sakonos. I wasn't able to rescue Sokolov. He's been taken elsewhere to find uh, Kirin, Jindosh's mansion. He's, he's the inventor of the clockwork soldier, and if he's able to use Sokolov's genius for his own plans, it might be very, very bad. I've seen his killing machines in action at Dunwall Tower. I can't allow Delia to have such an ally. I'm sure Jindosh takes pleasure in keeping his intellectual rival captive. Um, well, it won't be for long, if I have any say in it. The Dreadful Whale. What a weird name. Uh, it's actually pretty weird. It's hard to keep sleep on this ship, and when I do, my dreams are troubled. Well, I'm awake now and thinking about Sokolov. I remember him in the Hound Pits pub. So the Hound Pits pub was like the, almost like the resistance base on the first game, and it was Sokolov, and a couple of other people. I can't remember the names, and uh, obviously, Colvo went there too. So that was like your base of operations where um, Sokolov upgraded your gear in the first game. Uh, so, so long ago, trapped like a beast in a cage. He smelled of stale piss and rotting meat, but they couldn't break him. He held on to himself and picked up, picked up again as my tutor. Something I needed in the aftermath of my mother's death. Beware of dignitaries bearing gifts, he used to tell me. But I was still a child and I liked gifts. I thought some, nothing sounded more pleasant. Now I know better. Yeah. The, the gifts uh, were pretty dangerous. I also find myself thinking of Callista, my old governess. She always wanted to travel the world on a big boat. Eventually she left Dunwall, then stopped writing a few months later. Alright. Okay. So, it, these, it updates them. Uh, the powers, I know we've got a lot of runes left. Um... But at the moment, I don't know what else we're going to necessarily need. I think we'll end up getting Shadow Walk. But, um... Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shadow Walk will be pretty good. Getting, like, three enemies together down will be really, really good. Anyway, I need to read through more of those skills a bit more. So anyway, this is probably a good time to take a break. Uh, I'll be back and we're going to go on, continue and see what we can do in the game. See you guys later. Bye. Loving this series.